All right, guys, thank you for joining us for another uh, Three Comic Money. Uh, as you can see, if you've been watching our show, there's only four of us this week, and now we've two of our members have now left. Uh, they're they're going to pop back in randomly, but they've if you have been watching all the flip side stuff, you see their faces all the time. Ben is in, <laughs> still in his bunker, but he's going to be joining us this week. Uh, and then John Z, he between Global Safari and Flipside and a Vintage Voyage, he just he just needed a break. So we we said Peter and Mike and I said, hey, we'll take it, and we're going to bring in different people every week. So this week we 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 tackled uh, Mr. Diesel over here, and AJ is going to be joining us. If you read his articles, he likes to stir up things, and he is right in the middle of the. What round are we on? Uh, comes out Thursday. What round are we on? We are on round five. Round five. So we're almost down there down yep. to the how what. So we're almost there to the, the final final competition there. Uh, we're going to get started here. Uh, if you don't know our the rules and everything, we, we've gone over from AJ right before. Uh, we're going to rotate through our books. Uh, we'll, each one of us will do a book. Uh, Peter's come up with this really sort of fun way of the choose who gets to go first because sometimes we get confused. So, Peter, you want to sort of explain how we, we're going to do this? All right. Well, I, I got it. The card is behind one of these three. I know the answer, so I'm going to let you guys pick was first, second, third card. Whoever gets it right goes first, and then we'll just go, you know, clockwise from there in order to, uh, you know, do our picks after that. So, okay. AJ, Great. you're our guest, so you should probably pick first out of these right, three. Let's go, card number one. All right, he's okay. got one. Card number one. All right, I'm gonna go with. Uh, let's go with three. I guess then two. <laughs> All right. So, which one is it, Mister Mister Rena? It is card. Oh. Okay. All right. So I. So wait. What is what's this category? Black Widow. <laughs> no. The category is redheads. Oh, redheads. Nice. Okay. So redheads. Okay. So let's get started here, um, guys. I do want to tell you we got this really cool opportunity. I've been reaching out as we're reaching out to people. We do have a contest. Um, I reached out to some artists in the um, in the community, and uh, Ji Hung Lee has uh, said, "Hey, I can't be on your show." But he is going to give away. So he get he's given us some variants. So uh, if you watch our show and you read our articles, we want to know what redheads you like. So we're going to give away this variant here that we're going to throw up. If you haven't seen it yet, it's a beautiful star from the star. It's a virgin cover. Um, so if you if you comment in both the CBSI article and on the YouTube video, if you comment in both places, then you'll be in the drawing to win this by next show. And we'll we'll update the article by next Friday, not this, by next Friday, and you'll get to sort of see uh, if you get to win this. So please comment on both what three redhead books that you want that you think are the ones that we should go with. So, all right, guys, you guys ready to get started? I guess I'm going first. So yeah, all right. So I'm a, you, if you guys read my stuff, I'm a big Spider Man person. I think AJ, I think you put comment a few times. You're a Spider Man guy too. Sure. Uh, I had, of course, when you think Spider Man, you automatically think of who? Mary, Mary Jane. Jane. <laughs> so, but I'm going a little, little bit out off the side, and I'm going with a Paul Pope cover. I think this is the only time he might have done Spider Man, but this is Spider Man's Tangled Web 15. You got Mary Jane just jumping on the bed. Uh, great little Spider Man headshot there. I'm a huge Paul Pope fan. Um, just because he's, I like some of these off the wall artists. Like you've heard me talk about Mobius before and everything. Um, he, he just does this one issue in the series. This series, I don't know if you've uh, seen this, the Tangled Web. It's some weird covers, different artists that you normally wouldn't uh, picture doing Spider Man. Um, it's just a great cover. I love the yellows and oranges in there. And then, of course, you do get the redhead jumping on the bed. So that's my first book. All right. Who's up? All right, AJ. It's me. All right. Well, I guess in respect to uh, Mike Morello, I saw one of his, uh, well, I read one of his uh, cover tunes articles, and I uh, had to bring out Yes! Oh, nice. Tales Virgin, uh, Arthur Sudam. It is absolutely stunning. Uh, I only found it because of your article. So <laughs> Sweet. I'm very happy. <laughs> I can stare at that book all day. Yeah, uh, it's still one of my favorites. I actually pulled out the non-virgin and thought about using it, and I'm not. I'm not using it, so we're good. Uh, we're good. I, I don't have the. I, I don't have the virgin. Non-virgin count. Say again. I would virgin versus non-virgin count. Is it the same covers? Is it a different book? Uh, no, it's exactly the same. It's just they did a uh, for our game. 
for the game. Yeah. How does that work? Oh, no, you're right. It would be different. I guess technically it would be it's different. different yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. Good point. Good point. It's a beautiful book. It's it's still one of my top favorites. Of oh, it's wonderful. Wonderful. Gorgeous book. <laughs> Great choice. All right. I guess I got next. Uh, so for my first book, uh, I went with just just a great cover. Uh, this is one of my favorite covers of, I guess it's 2018. I wasn't sure of the year. It's like two years ago, but Ooh, I'm going back. No. Oh yeah. Just because it's just gorgeous. Absolutely <laughs> gorgeous. So I, I had to go with that for my first pick. Yeah, start is that still up there? Big slabs, but I actually slapped this book. So is that one still worth as much as it was when it first came out? Eh, not as much, but it's still yeah, just it gorgeous. Maintained. It was really hard to get in high grade because the white cover stained so easily. Yeah. I was on the fence. I thought that was a brunette. <laughs> it all depends on who drops it. Right. There they are. You can catch it. <laughs> all right, Mike, what you got? All right. I don't think there's any doubt that this this is a redhead. Uh, and instead of going with the regular one, I'm channeling my inner John Z uh, for the first week without him this week. I went with a foreign of Red Sony number one. Uh, this is this is the Australian Yaffa, uh, and it is super, super hard to get, especially in the States. What's great about it, though, <clears throat> is that it's a larger format. It's magazine-sized, so that the cover art is really bold. I, I particularly love these Yaffas because of that. And the interiors are black and white, um, but at the same time, the, the art is nice and big. So just a beautiful way to, to sort of have this book. Um, I don't do much for it in the way of foreigns, but there's a couple of sets I'm trying to collect, and this is one of them. So my, my, my baby Red Sonia in, in one of my favorite, one of my favorites. Frank Thorne cover, um, just, a, just a beautiful book, one of my favorites. What year is that from, Mike? Uh, 77? 70... Yeah, 77. Very there it is. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so, for my second book, I'm going. It's sort of weird not having the fifth person. <laughs> going <laughs> with all the crazy hip hop craze, I decided to go for Redhead on a hip hop cover. Um, this is a Black Widow. This is a Phil Noto cover. Uh, right. What I really like, I hopefully you can see it's signed in several different places. Yeah. Uh, there's there's a oh, Noto yeah. signature. There. I don't, I'm not quite sure what the M squibble is. Is that Mayhew? You know, Maybe and then you got it looks like Wade oh. and then Phil Noto and I'm not sure what the MM or whatever is but it's I mean this series I loved I don't know if you read this is probably my favorite Black Widow series uh, the Noto he did a bunch of the covers on it um, but then just a hip hop cover I, it's one of those I've debated throwing it throwing it up because all the books are going crazy right now but it's signed three times and it's a gorgeous book and I paid four dollars for it so uh, seen that squiggle I don't think it's what you think it is I think it's it's like a name you wouldn't think that it looks like that signed. Is it Sammy? I don't know. I know I'm I've like, seen it too. But but it's just not clicking in my head. But yeah, I was sort of stoked. It, it's what, one of our spots that we go to, Mike. I just went in, I grabbed that, and then I actually grabbed a bunch of goons signed too. I was like, what the heck? Why are all these just sitting here for a cover price? Well, that makes sense because he's local to us. So. Yeah, true. All right. What you got round two, AJ? All right. Um... I'm not really a DC guy by any stretch of the imagination, but the Bronze Age horror. Uh, this is 1972. It's a Nick Cardi cover. Um, Unexpected 141. Yeah. Oh, I love <laughs> that cover. I've never uh, seen that. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I got it for maybe three or four bucks, but it's. Ah, oh, it's. It's awesome. I just you got the guy in the background, the beautiful redhead girl. Uh, it's a fantastic cover. Uh, the Bronze Age DC. Um, I think they're sleepers. People should really pick up those covers because they are great. So that's my second choice. Don't well, don't say that yet because Mike and I are still collecting them all. <laughs> yes, yeah, seriously. And you just channeled your inner John Z too. He's a huge Cardi fan. Yeah. Yep. Oh, that means I'm up. <laughs> all right. Too busy drinking. Uh, so second pick, I decided to go back to uh, an X Men pick. But for this one, I didn't go with, you know, the classics that I got up behind me. I went with this uh, Madeline Pryor Ooh, variant. Yeah. This, oh, uh, yeah. This one is, oh, 505. I just, I just love this cover. This is just, I don't know, it, it's just something about it. Greg Land, he's hit and miss sometimes with me, but mm -hmm. this one I, uh, I, I do like. So I went this way. Instead of going with one of the classic, uh, you know, Gene Gray covers that I do, again, I got 134 and, what was it, 135 behind me? But uh, I decided to go this way with my second pick. Gorgeous. 
Say Tanner with her hair down. That's fantastic. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> was that 505 you said, Pete? Yeah, 505. Uh, I think it's, I don't know if it's one in 10 or if it's like a lower, like one in five, but it is. It is a low number uh, ratio variant. I love it. AJ's oh, taking notes. He's like, I like <laughs> <the> <laughs> <guy>. <laughs> well, you, you look, it's actually not that that pricey. I do that every week, AJ. Don't worry. I'm always writing Ben's books down and everybody's books down. I'm like, oh, I got to find that. Oh my God. I've never seen that before. What? Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. All right. So yeah. now I've, I've channeled my inner John Z. Now I'm going to channel my, my inner Ben C and go with the Golden Age book uh, and one that he'll love from EC, Mad Magazine, number eight. Uh, <laughs> this is a Kurtzman cover from 1953, I want to say. Um, just just a great headlights cover that's a super comedic. Mine is not the greatest copy in the world, but it shows well. Um, and it is, uh, I got it for a bargain. It's the only old Mad that I have. And uh, I don't know, I loved it. It's just fun, just a fun cover. <laughs> Not too shabby. Very nice. All right. Going a little bit outside the box. We said redheads. So okay. I decided to go with an actual redhead. And go with, <laughs> <laughs> and go with the red hood. <laughs> I, I mean, I love this book. This is uh, especially like this. If you can't see it's a newsstand. Um, and that to me, and also I found it in a 50 cent box. So it makes it even better. But it's a, actually a really good condition copy of this Uh First, if you don't know what this is, first Red Hood, uh, Jason Todd, Red Hood and everything. Great cover. I always get it mistaken with, I think it's a 629 where it's, he's fighting Jason Todd on the cover, but it's not the first Red Hood. Uh, but yeah, I love this cover. You, we, you said redheads. You didn't specify that it, whether or not it was the hair or the head. I was thinking the red skull. I mean, so. That book's still fetching like 60 bucks, huh? Yeah, yeah it's, it does. definitely does. Well, I never find it. Yeah, never had one. That's one of those modern Batmans that you know keep your eyes for. Yep, Jason Todd. Um, see what you got. I'm a sucker for uh, for Lindsner. I see Mike's got Dawn in the background. The neon yep. uh, oh. white Dawn number one from '95. Yeah, you know. I've got a bunch of compo crushes, but she's right up there. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to say. Just enjoy. Exactly. Yeah, that's gorgeous. I I've love it. I've never seen that one before, especially oh, with yeah. the neons. It's the it's the neon. There's also a regular cover uh, where it's just uh, with the trade dress up top. Okay. Um, and she's like got green on, but this is I, don't know, I just loved it. So. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a great, great choice. This All is right. the one. This is the one AJ was talking about. Was that the 10th and, anniversary? And thank yeah, the yeah. Thanks. Where, where's the sig? The sig sig is up here. Yeah, I'm so. not looking at the. I'm not looking at the sig. <laughs> You're not. What do you, what do you, what do you mean? <laughs> 10th anniversary special. Thanks to thanks to actually thanks to Chris Nelms for for uh, cueing me into where this was hiding in in a long box in town. So uh, I went and snagged it thanks to him. <laughs> Oh, uh, I actually pulled a second Lensner. I think we got and, and a third. Actually, I pulled three. I didn't use. I pulled uh, this lady rawhide as well. Nope, which I go. didn't use. There's another one, and then I pulled this other cry for dawn. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, that's the first print. I don't own the second print. You like the second but, print or the first print more? Oh come on, the second print. <laughs> of, course. <laughs> of course. For those of you that don't know what the second print of that book looks like, go look it up on eBay. Do yourself a favor. If you're 18 or older. Yes, if you're 18 or older. Because. <laughs> First angle. Yeah. All right. For my last pick. All right. Uh, my last pick. This one is uh, for you, uh, Morello. I did oh, go to Antonia. I went yeah. to use RRP, Ooh. so I went full-on red cover. Yeah. My redhead uh, pick. Uh, this is actually like the second or third one of these I've had. I just can't seem to hold on to it, but I think I'm going to keep this one because I found it cheap enough. So I'm just going to keep this one. But yeah, I had to go with at least one red Sonia. Put a couple, uh, I actually put the Jim Lee behind me. But uh, yeah, I decided to go with this one for the uh, for my third pick. That, that's a great one. I've, I've never had that book, if you can believe it. I have the regular version of that cover, but I don't have yeah. that. I've never been able to find one. And you've had three, of course. <laughs> You've had plenty of books that I haven't. So hashtag FML. <laughs> All right. That's All right. 
so so I guess I'm I guess in a way I'm channeling my inner Chris on this one. Uh -oh. uh, I just finally found this. I've been looking for this one for a long time. Uh, oh, Dave. Oh, nice. Yeah, beautiful oh, wow. Dave Stevens cover. Nice. Chevelle Noir. Uh, this I think this is his best cover, and I know that's saying something because he's got a lot of beautiful covers. But um, I just absolutely love this one. This is not as cheap as one might think. This doesn't. This goes for a little bit more than some of the other stuff does. Uh, this is more like a twenty thirty dollar book. Um, and tough to find in good shape. It's square bound or prestige mm -hmm. bound or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it's number seven. Dave Stevens, gorgeous cover. One of my favorites. Nice. Really nice. Very nice. I guess. So let's just do a little bit of wrap up, guys. Guys, thanks. AJ, thank you so much for being on the show with us. Uh, once again, if you want to catch any awesome CBSI Flipside content, you can always uh, check out the Flipside channel. Um, every Wednesday, they do the Carb Discord, but you uh, you also have the Hot 10 show on Fridays. If you haven't seen the Hot 10 show, you're missing out. Uh we have McClay and Ben uh, Ben Stein and Bird City and everyone else is on that show. It's a great, great show to catch. Uh, Tales from the Flip Sides on Mondays, uh, another great show if you haven't caught it. Uh, Global Safari and our shows are both pre-recorded, so you can catch them when they go live on the site. Um, and that you get to catch up on some of your foreign knowledge that you want to know. And then, of course, Sunday nights, Vintage Voyage. If you haven't seen that, if you want to catch up on the Golden Age, because since Ben and John have stepped off and not going to be as often on here, please catch that show. And uh, finally, you also have the weekend update with Nico and whatever guest he gets to bring on. Uh, you, you get to see some pretty cool people. I think upcoming this tomorrow and this Friday or Saturday is Jesse James. Uh, yeah. And it'll be a pretty cool show. Um, and very soon, stay tuned for a brand new show that okay. I will be part of. I'm, I'm not going to spill the beans on it because it's not my place, but there's a very exciting show coming soon. So there's still stuff. So once again, remember the contest. Remember, if you want that star version variant, you got to pop on to – the YouTube and you have to pop on to the uh, CBSI article and leave us a three. It can be the same three. We just want to see that you're checking in on both of them. Just so you know that we are on YouTube and we are on that and you can just follow the video. Uh, I, some of you guys have been doing it already, guys. I, we appreciate seeing your comments through, through me, we, and through the articles and through Facebook and all the different places that you leave us your three favorite books. Uh, we love seeing what you want to want to see. So thanks again. Um, and just keep watching. Peace. Thanks. All right.